NASA data show Earth is reflecting less sunlight back into space, meaning the planet is absorbing more energy. This subtle shift can amplify warming and disrupt regional climates. The headline that Earth is getting darker comes from long-term satellite measurements showing a decline in the planet's reflectivity, or albedo, meaning less incoming solar radiation is being bounced back into space. This trend is measurable over the past two decades and was identified by researchers analyzing radiation budgets with instruments such as Ceres. The finding is not a sudden blackout, but a gradual change in how much sunlight the Earth system returns to space, and scientists are treating it as an important signal about the balance of energy that controls global temperature. Several interacting causes explain why the planet is reflecting less light. Melting Arctic ice and snow reduce surface albedo, replacing bright, reflective surfaces with darker ocean and land that absorb more sunlight. At the same time, reductions in air pollution have decreased reflective aerosols and low clouds in parts of the northern hemisphere, which paradoxically lowers reflectivity even as air quality improves. Large fires and volcanic events can temporarily increase reflection through aerosols, but their effects are episodic and do not offset the long-term darkening trend. The pattern is not uniform. Researchers report a, a growing hemispheric imbalance, with the northern hemisphere darkening more than the southern hemisphere by measurable amounts per decade. That imbalance, on the order of fractions of a watt per square meter each decade, may seem small. But even small changes in the Earth's energy budget can accumulate and drive significant climate responses over years and decades. How clouds respond to these shifts is a major uncertainty, because cloud changes can either amplify or dampen warming depending on their type, altitude, and location. For people and ecosystems, the practical consequences include additional warming pressure on top of greenhouse gas-driven heating, altered weather patterns, and regional shifts in precipitation and storm behavior. Agricultural zones, water resources, and coastal systems are sensitive to even modest changes in temperature and circulation. Importantly, the darkening signal highlights that clean air improvements and ice loss have complex climate side effects, so mitigation and adaptation strategies must account for multiple interacting processes rather than treating emissions alone as the only lever. In the end, NASA's warning is a call to refine climate models, monitor Earth's reflectivity continuously, and prepare for regional impacts. Reducing greenhouse gases remains essential, but scientists and policymakers should also incorporate albedo changes into planning for agriculture, water management,